I recently posted some progress pictures on KISS and got a question, which I have since answered on KISS, but I thought it was worth doing a video about, um, do I have protective style? So to answer that question, yes and no. Um, here are my thoughts on protective styling. And I thought it was appropriate that I do it today when I'm wearing a high bun. So, I protective style, but mainly as a styling option. Um, I actually enjoy wearing wigs and giving myself a break and we weave, sew in weaves and um, braids, whatever. I like those as styling options. There are times where I just, you know, get bored with my hair. I want to grow it long. I love for my hair to be long and long for me is armpit length or pad so I am very happy with my hair length right now um, I don't color my hair so sometimes I get bored and I like changing my hairstyles I don't keep it the same very often at all so you know I'll do a sew in to change my hair color or texture I'll do you know a curly or wet and wavy or I'll change the color or the length or something um, wigs same thing I love changing it up ponytails braids I do all those as styling options even today wearing this bun you know it is winter time so I do want to start wearing my hair up a little bit more but in the sense that do I protective style as a part of my hair regimen to reach my length goals not really there are certain things that I have changed um, for example I very very rarely use direct heat um, which I didn't I limited its use before ever being on a an official healthy hair care journey um, just because I knew it wasn't healthy for the hair but now I've learned to roller set and wrap my own hair which I didn't do before now um, when I choose to wear my hair in a French braid or in a bun or like I said any other protective style it's because I want to. It's not because it's part of my regimen and I feel like I have to stick to wearing it in a bun or I have to stick to keeping it hidden away. It can't touch my clothes. It can't be exposed to the environment. Um, I do think that, you know, being committed and wearing protective styles can help a person to retain more length and to reach their hair goals faster in terms of length and possibly even thickness. But for me personally, it's not something that I'm willing to sacrifice, if that makes sense. I have enjoyed um, taking care of my hair and watching it grow, taking progress pictures, and each step of the way, whether it was, you know, neck length, chin length, and shoulder length, and now armpit length. And um, I don't know, it reminds me of the phrase, it's not about the destination, it's the journey along the way. I'm not really willing to restrict my styling options um, from the time that I started my healthy hair care journey until the end in which I reach my desired goal length um, just to get there faster. So I'd rather take more time. I'd rather take an extra six months or an extra year to reach full mid-back length and have worn the styles that I actually enjoy along the way. So that's my thoughts on protective styling. If I'm wearing a protective style, it's mainly just because that's what I felt like doing that day. Today I'm wearing a bun because I didn't want to roll my hair. I didn't feel like doing a braid out and I thought a bun would be cute. I will say that I am more aware to wear my hair up in the winter time now because of my healthy hair care journey and because of being on hair boards and forums and things, but mainly because I can feel it snagging at my clothes and things. I mean, that's real. I felt it before though, being on my hair care journey. So it's something that has always bothered me if I'm wearing like a wool heavy sweater. But um, just in terms of do I protect this style? Do I bun Monday through Friday? Or do I, you know, wear wigs six months straight? No, I don't knock those that do because like I said, I think that I could have reached where I am a little bit faster had I done that. I'm just not willing to sacrifice and do that. I like the styling options and the freedom of being able to wear whatever I want and for me the way that I like to wear my hair generally doesn't require heat so especially since I'm relaxed so there you have my thoughts on protective styling and how I incorporate it into my regimen um, you know let me know your thoughts 
and in how you do it if you have ever been able to stick to a really really hardcore strict regimen if it let me know if it helped you retain more length or if you did it and you got the same results or whatever but I thought it was an interesting question and I always touched when people are impressed with my progress um, because now I'm starting to inspire myself you know it helps along the way to take pictures so that you can literally see your progress because you know most of us on hair care journeys we're watching it we're doing our hair all the time we're watching it so you don't necessarily feel the length it feels like a gradual thing so if you take pictures it definitely does help you uh, remain inspired or encouraged to keep going and doing what you're doing so those are my thoughts thank you so much for watching I hope that you guys have had a wonderful day take care and be blessed bye